guys, welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering what the hell I'm doing with these palettes. I thought it would be really fun to show you how I'm going to create a palette sofa. I found these two palettes on the side streets near my apartment. Maybe recreate a, an escape because we can't go anywhere. That's my vision. I've been on Pinterest. I've seen some of these palette sofas and I wanna recreate that. I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna shop online to see if we can recreate some of these Pinterest ideas. Let's see, let's see what damage I can do. So here's the before of what my balcony currently looks like. Pretty empty, except for the two palettes. I've realized that Probably the most expensive thing about this palette sofa was gonna be the futon. I realized like, yeah, this could get very expensive, but we are going to get more creative. And I found these love seat cushions that are the perfect size if I put two of them together. And yes, the pattern is not what I'm going for. I want like a bohemian, vintage, Middle Eastern, Moroccan sort of style. I don't think it's like super fantastic, but I've got some material that's coming my way that I think could work if I just covered them. Let's be honest here, it's gonna get dirty, shit flies around, people are throwing shit onto my balcony, birds poo, so I need this to be also very easy to maintain and keep clean. You need the cushions at the back, because you don't wanna sit right against the, you know, the cement, it's not very comfortable. I need four of these, and yeah, beige isn't super fun, but in a way I really like it because that's what's gonna keep it very like clean and also sleek looking, and they're removable. That's what I love about Ikea, is you can just like unzip things, throw it in the wash, and it's really easy to maintain. This is when I start to like treat myself a little bit. So I found these really cool vintage woven navy and orange throw pillows and I just love the aesthetic, I love the pattern, I love the look and they just really remind me of Egypt, especially when we were in Dahab. So I want to get two of these for now. Two will be fine, I don't need like 10, 6, 4, whatever. I think it'll just be the right look. And lastly, the crumb, the crumb, the cherry on top is this gorgeous rug. It's called the Outdoor Nomada Multicolor Rug and it's free shipping here in Toronto. I love the color, I love the pattern, and the size is going to be big, so it's the perfect size width and then long, it's going to give me a few extra feet, so it'll just give it a really nice section, a really nice area, and I think it's just gonna look so divine. Those are the items that I'm going to buy for now. Let's get personal here. What? You know, you're probably think, oh my God, you can see the mess in my back. Guys, I don't have all the furniture. That is why I haven't given you an apartment tour yet because the apartment's not really up to snuff just yet. The reality is I can't go thrifting. And every time I go onto marketplace, like Facebook marketplace to look at secondhand furniture or items, I'm just not impressed with the price to what I'm buying. And the things that I do find that are in good shape the prices are pretty much the same as if I just buy it from the retailer. I also looked on Craigslist or like, could you, no, I think it was Craigslist. Same thing, just didn't love it. And I don't really want to deal with the human contact. That means I have to get Ruben to drive me somewhere. Or I'd have to get on the subway and meet someone I don't know all by myself. What if they're a murderer and they want to fucking stab me? Have I rambled on enough? Have I explained myself enough? Are you judging me? Maybe. See you in a couple weeks. Everything is here and I'm just so excited to see how it will all come together. I'm sitting amongst my my rug, oh, it's so good! And the pillows are just nestled over there for now. I've got the back cushions. Let's see if I can get those. The love seat cushions and a few other goodies have arrived that doesn't make or break making a pallet sofa, but it's definitely gonna add a nice environment, nice and cozy. But before I do all that, I need to clean. I need to clean the balcony. I haven't touched it since I moved in. I'm, I'm just like so, 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 so excited. How many times can I say so? So, 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 so excited.
keep getting this vision that like I'm gonna wash the rail and my rag is just gonna like fall right over. <sighs> and knowing me, it could happen. <laughs> the water was so black from the first round. I did it twice because the first round was just like, the water was instantly black when I started uh, mopping. So now it's actually, it, it looks clean. The first thing that I'm gonna do is lay down the rug and ooh, I love the color and I love the feel of it. There's something about it that just feels like so cozy and it's just gonna feel so nice on my feet when I'm like walking in that area. To be honest, I think I did order the wrong size. So I think I'm gonna have to lay it down differently than I originally imagined. looking so good it has like a little step which is what I wanted it's a bit wobbly on one end because obviously it's they're used a tad warped so I'm just gonna shove a piece of cardboard in the area to just balance it <laughs> let's go see how these cushions look I got a dollar for every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive If you hadn't run away every time I asked you stay so It's a bit messy looking for what I'm going for, for my style, for the aesthetic It just kind of looks half ass I'm gonna try the bed sheet method because it should actually cover it and look seamless so I'm gonna go rifle through my closet and see what I can find the only thing I could find was this blanket for the sake of the video and for the sake of like what I want it to look like for the aesthetic I'm going to use this it may be too white the contrast might be too extreme with the creams and beiges So what do you guys think? I am so impressed. I am obsessed with how well this turned out. I did say that I was going to add a few exciting little extras to make this more appealing. I added, as you saw, that vintage bucket wicker chair. It does live inside because it's not something I want to get ruined, but I think it just brings the whole area together so well. I also pulled some of my house plants from inside to outside when the time comes when I finally get myself to a plant store. These are the kind of plants that I want on my plant stand. That was something that I bought. However, I don't suggest buying them from Wayfair. I spent $100 and it broke in two places when I was putting it together and I just feel like for $100 it's a piece of crap. I added a throw because it does still get chilly here in Toronto. We're not in full summer. We're still in spring, but in the evenings if I want to come out with like a glass of wine, I can just cover myself up with a blankie and that's it guys i hope i've inspired you with this video to think outside the box and think creatively i'll see you next time love you all